Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP EliteBook 860G11. To open this notebook, you have to undo just five Phillips head screws. Use a lever tool to pop the zones close to the top two edges. Lift the middle of the rear as well. The next step is to simply pry the sides and the front with a thin plastic tool. The inside of the bottom plate houses thermal pads for the W1 slot and the SSD. Our laptop is equipped with the default 56 watt hour battery. You can also pick a device with a 76 watt hour variant. To take it out, detach the connector from the motherboard and undo the four Phillips head screws which hold the unit in place. The capacity is enough for 10 hours of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the battery saver preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the Smart Sense mode in the My HP app. The metal shrouds protecting the memory zone and SSD can be removed by gently lifting the attached fabric handles. The Wi-Fi card is placed on the right of the thermal system, and the W1 slot for optional 4G or 5G connectivity is positioned below the fan. According to HP, the two SODIMs fit up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5,600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. Storage-wise, you can rely on a single M.2 slot compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs, There is a tiny cooling pad below the NVMe drive. The cooling seems standard. It has a large fan, a pair of heat pipes, one top-mounted heat sink, and a heat spreader. 